Today we released a new clonable for Webflow. Uh, it's a news website and uh, in this video I will go through all of the functionalities of the site and uh, how you can clone it to use it on your own. So let's head right into it. So it's available on the Webflow marketplace. Uh, I will leave the link in the description to this video. But Let's go and check it out. This is a news website. We built it using Relium components that uh, use the client first uh, class naming system. It has four CMS collections. We use Swipe.js to display some of those collections. And we also added a small little JavaScript snippet that well, it makes it so that the copyright in the footer is always up to date. So it's always displaying the current year. So let's see how it looks. So this is it. We have a nav bar with some uh, buttons. We have the categories here. They are dynamically updated and they have a color assigned to them. And we also have a search module that is a pop up which you can search the entire page. The uh, hero header for the site is just two different collection lists displaying the latest articles uh, from this news publication. And if we scroll down, we also have a ad. And this is also based in a CMS collection. So you can uh, gather materials from anyone wanting to place ads on your site and upload it with the CMS and it will display like this. And this also uh, auto slides to the left in, I think, four second intervals, intervals, uh, unless you actually click on these. So then if we scroll down even further, we have all of the categories listed like this. So here we display only articles from one specific category, which is also color coded. And all of these are built with Swiper JS. And that means that when there's more than three items, um, this little scroll bar uh, pops up. And if you view it on mobile, uh, you can swipe between the posts like this, or you can use uh, your scroll wheel, you can drag this, you can click on these. So here on the front page, all of the categories are displayed like this. And then we have a newsletter component, very basic, and the footer. And this year here is updated dynamically. Uh, it's a small JavaScript snippet that just updates this text to be the current year. So you won't get outdated copyright years in your footer. And we also have the category template pages. So here we will display the category name. Um, it will show up here what category we're looking at. So it's active. And then all of the posts that are um, yeah, in this category. We have an ad and the newsletter. We also have, of course, articles. Uh, here we have a description that is uh, linked, a photo credits that's linked, the categories, the author, the publish date, the actual article in rich text, another Subscribe to our newsletter and share. And then the latest articles. Other than this, we also have the About Us page. It's quite simple. It's got a header. You can write stuff. Got the icon scrolling. Another uh, header. We have our team, which also are linked up to a collection list. And a call to action, we're hiring a newsletter and contact. 
And then we have the contact page, which is also very basic. Just a contact page and a call to action to advertise on our website. So then we can go to the advertise page, which is also a static page with some small components with another kind of uh, contact module. We have a basic static newsletter page. Um, yeah, you can write about your newsletter and a call to action to sign up. We have a page that uh, the voice crack. Um, yeah, encourages readers to give tips about news stories. And last but not least, we also have this privacy notice uh, page. And yes, I think that is all that this site entails. So this Swipe EAS is quite unique and works really well on mobile as well. And uh, also the JavaScript snippet for the current year. It's really handy. So yeah, check it out. The link is in the description. Uh, clone it, modify it, make it your own. And uh, yeah, have fun with it.